Here's a quick puzzle involving four playing cards. There is a playing card with a blue back, a playing card with a red back, a playing card with an eight of spades, and a playing card with a three of spades. So there's a rule about these cards, which is that if a card has got a blue back, then it has to have an even number on the other side. So how do we check whether these four cards are obeying that rule? Well, we could turn them all over and make sure that uh, every blue card has an even number on the other side, but I'm a bit lazy and I don't wanna to have to turn over cards if I don't have to. So what's the minimum number of cards that I need to turn over to make sure this rule is being obeyed and, and which cards are they? You can pause the video now if you want to have a think about it. Okay, the answer is you need to turn over two cards and the two cards you have to turn over are this card here and this card here, the blue card and the three. Now, most people, um, probably not the type of viewers that I get subscribing to my channel because you're all very clever, but most people will say these two cards. But in fact, that's not the case. So uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. We do have to turn over this one to make sure that it's an even number. Of course, we don't have to turn over this one because there's no rule about red cards. Red can be whatever they want. Um, we also don't have to turn over this one because if it's blue on the other side, then that's great. It obeys the rule. But if it's red on the other side, that's fine too because reds can be what be whatever they like. So we don't have to turn that one over because it can be red if, if it wants to be. Um, we do have to turn over this final card here because if the three turned out to be uh, blue, then the rule is not being obeyed. There is a blue card that doesn't have an even number on the other side. And uh, the interesting thing is that, that people don't seem to want to check for those kind of um, those things that break the rule. It, it might be because of something called confirmation bias, though there's some debate about whether that's really the case. What's interesting about this puzzle is I can reframe it in terms of social rules and suddenly you'll be a lot better at solving uh, the, the puzzle. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So instead of these four playing cards, I'll show you uh, four people uh, that are drinking in a pub. So the first person that's drinking in this pub is drinking wine. Uh, the second person drinking in this pub is drinking a cola. The third person in this pub is 19 years old and the final person is 15 years old. And the rule about drinking in a pub, at least here in the UK, is that you have to be over 18 to drink alcohol. So which cards do we need to turn over now? Suddenly it's very easy. We do have to check how old the person drinking alcohol is to make sure that they're over 18. We don't care how old the person drinking cola is. We don't care what the 19 year old is drinking because they can drink what they like. And we do have to check what the 15 year old is drinking because if they're drinking alcohol, we have to kick them out of the pub. So there you go, that is the four card problem.